Greetings in the name of Jesus. Now, wh last video I did was talking about the fifth seal. About the fifth seal and people being martyred and killed. So I'm going to continue on looking at the seals. And we're going to look at the sixth seal right now. So we'll, the next seal in the series you know, goes, is the sixth seal. So what is the sixth seal and what is uh, the sixth seal all about? So there are basically nine parts to, to, to the uh, sixth seal. So let's go over, look at the sixth seal and see what's going on in the sixth seal. The sixth seal, for, first thing that happens, you see, there was a great earthquake. Ooh, the giant earthquake. It shook the earth. Second thing is the sun become black. The sun didn't shine black and stuff. And the moon turned blood, blood red. And you see, a lot of times you see the moon turn blood red on the, on the blood moons and stuff. That, that happens very often on the cycle of the moon. <coughs> then the first, the first thing is, is the sky is split apart. The, you know, the sky is moved. The sky is uh, torn asunder. Then we have the mountains... Uh, and islands are moved, you know, mountains and islands. If you have a lot of volcanic activity, a lot of eruption stuff, they could count for a lot of stuff. Then he goes, and the sixth thing is men were hiding in caves. They were scared, they came, you know, hiding from God and hiding from the, all the disaster stuff. But, you know, they can hide all they want in caves and bunkers and stuff. There's no going. They're not going to survive. Doesn't there's all these bunker people building and stuff? They're not going to hide from God. They're not going to hide from disaster. You can't hide from God. I don't care how, how deep underground you go. You're still not going to survive. <coughs> <coughs> then the seventh thing is angels hold back the wind. Imagine this: angels holding back the wind, and for a time of earth, there's no storm, there's no rain, no wind. You know, you, sometimes you go outside, there's no wind. Imagine there's no wind anywhere on the earth. All the winds being held back. That was that's the seventh thing. <coughs> Excuse me. Then the, the eighth thing is, eighth thing is that 144,000 in Israel were sealed. I mean, every tribe... There's a amount of, in the Bible tells it, amount of people every time is being sealed. So the angels seal 144,000. Then the next thing is that the great multitude was seen in heaven. And John's talking to the, to the angel there. <coughs> Excuse me. Angels tells how John who these people are. And John's go, I, I don't know, and, you know, you know, do so the you know John says you know, so he, and the angel says these are the people, these are the ones have came out of the great tribulation. So what happens before this is that basically the tribulation, tribulation period, is basically from this point before they're taken. Through, through seals one through five into that. So this is all a part of tri a tribulation. Another thing about tribulation period is that tribulation also means persecution. So people talk about great tribulation, they're maybe not talking so much about disaster, but persecution also. And that's relates to the fifth seal, the people being pilled and martyred and hold fast to the, the teachings of Christ. So all this going on could be, be late, related to the tribulation period. But it's interesting this is they came out of the great tribulation. These people who came out, of the, all of a sudden people would come out of nowhere, come into John sees them, and they're in white robes before the throne, and say Hosanna, have palm leaves and stuff. So this could be referring to also to the rapture. The rapture could be where these people came from. They came out of the tribulation. 
He can't he can't come out of something unless you're into something. If he go if he can't come out of a swimming pool unless you're in a swimming pool. He can't, he can't come out of the shower unless you're in the shower. So you got to go through the tribulation to come out of the tribulation. That's why pre-trib teaching doesn't make any bit of sense spiritually because you can't come out of something unless you're in it. And the Bible says these are people that are going, going to come out of the tribulation. But it's also interesting in the Bible code, the Bible code in Genesis 3, the Bible code in Genesis 3 mentions exactly the same thing. Genesis 3, Bible code, mentions people hiding from God. It mentions the great earthquake. It mentions the sun turning black. It mentions the moon turning blood. So here, this is the Bible code is mimicking the sixth seal in, you know, in Genesis 3. So it's interesting that Genesis 3 is talking, talks about Adam and Eve hiding from God because they, they're sin. And they say same thing here. Here you see man hiding from God because there's sin. The same thing. History is repeating itself. It's a cycle there. So we say something. The same thing. So there is a parallel correlation to the Bible code to the actual text in the Bible. Many times it's true. So interesting thing about this. It's all coincidental to the Bible code and also to the actual text itself in Revelation. So we're talking about all this happening could also in the Bible code talks about this being a time of persecution. It also talks about a volcanic it mentions volcanic activity. So if you look at all well, this is great earthquake, sun turns black, moon blood, sky split apart, mountains move, that is all related could be related to volcanic activity. Of volcanic activity, because imagine if Yellowstone would ever erupt. Opposed to in the future, some time in the future can happen any day now. Who knows how it's going to happen? That Yellowstone will erupt, and a giant volcano will come a super volcano will erupt and co cause all the ash would cover most half the United States. And people would see the sun would be darkened because of the ash, and you can't see the sun. But the moon will also be filtered light of moon, and it would show a blood red. So this is all related to volcanic activity. Imagine what happened if Yellowstone off, Mount St. Helens went off, Kilauea and Hawaii went off. And Vesuvius went off, and the one in Norway went off. All these different kinds of words, and they would all go off about the same time frame. That would totally shake the earth. So that's what we, that's what we talk, could be t talking and seeing right here happening. So the question is to ask yourself are you ready for the sixth seal to be broken? When Jesus opens the sixth seal, this is going to happen. Are you prepared for that to happen? Have you repented in your life, changed your life, and to seek God? God calls all men to repentance. God calls all men to come to him. Because God created mankind for a purpose and reason. You have a divine purpose and reason. You're not a product of evolution. Evolution is a big, stupid thing that people believe in that's no, no evidence of it all. There is no evidence at all in evolution if you look at it into it. I've been looking, studying science for years, and I can't find any evidence of evolution anywhere that makes any bit of sense. Even scientists are the same way. But are you, you have to ask yourself, are you ready to meet God? Are you ready for Jesus' return? Are you ready for things to happen in this world? Because the whole world can change in an instant. It's like you're driving a car down the street, and it's not, wham, it's a car, somebody hits the car. It wasn't planned. It hit, well, you things going to happen. It just happened. It happens in a split instant. It's like my life. One time I was, I was walking around in the kitchen. The next second, I was on the floor of a stroke. It totally changed my life. In a split instant. So things can happen in, in a split instant. Things happen. So ask yourself, are you ready 
Are your life ready for meet the Lord? Have you rep repented of your sins? Have you changed your life to put your life to God? God is calling you to repent and change your life, to come to Him. God, not, live, not live by the world. The world is telling you to do all this stuff, TikTok, on these videos and all this stuff and all these ideas and political ideas and stuff. If you don't, they're going to persecute you. They're going to come after you. Who cares? The world is dying. Countries are dying. Because we are living in time of great upheaval. The Bible talks about it. The Bible tells us it's going to happen. We know it's going to happen. But you ask yourself, are you ready? We know the sixth seal is going to be opened by Jesus. We don't know when. But we know it's going to happen. Are you ready for the happen? Are you, your life aligned with the scriptures? Have you repented of your sins? Have you sought God? Will he still be found? Ask yourself that today. Have a great week. Trust God. Remember, whatever you do, keep your faith.